Welcome to Joey C TV guys. Thank you for being here tonight. Tonight I'm doing an alone challenge and I've been having so much fun doing these challenges. I'm in a historic district here in Florida and uh, these are like some buildings that we're going to go to. Can't get inside them but they are used as museums during the day. At night I'm told if you come here you could possibly pick up some ghostly things. Now that's what urban legend has. I don't know. We're going to check it out. But uh, it looks like a really cool, creepy place. Now, after this, I may venture to the school that I did once before. Um, it's kind of close to here. It is super creepy, guys. And I'm really kind of debating, do I want to go to this creepy place alone at night? Yeah, I do. But at the same time, yeah, it's pretty, pretty scary. So we'll see if we'll do that or something else you're coming with. All right, guys. So as I'm walking up, I can already feel this is like a little creepy. Um, granted, again, it is used as a museum, it's a public place, and uh, it's a creepy place, so let's go check it out. Alright, let me get my flashlight out. Now there's a structure right here, and then a couple more around back. And as you can see, like I was saying, it is a park. It's kind of a nice park. But I'm told that you can pick up hauntingly creepy stuff here tonight. That's what we're hoping for. But as you can see, there is, it's got a cottage, a Lake Lily, the Carpentry Shop Museum, the Waterhouse uh, Residence Museum, and the studios at Lake Lily. So you can come here and check it out. It is in the Orlando area. It's got beautiful lake around this place. Now what I'm told is this first house, they say that if you stand here and look up at these windows, that you can see shadows. And of course there's an airplane flying over right now. Why wouldn't there be? And look at that, that is a cool, cool looking house. Now, I'll tell you something. I did walk up here before um, filming, and I did, I did think I picked up something whispering at one of the places over there that I'll take you to, but let's see if we capture anything in these windows. That was weird. I thought I heard something. So this is the uh, William Waterhouse residence built in 1884. It's on the National Register Historic Place Society. Wow, pretty cool. And uh, there are hours that you can come here and check it out. Hopefully we pick up some cool stuff here. You know, I should have brought my phone. I'll go back and get it because I may do the Necrophonic app here. But. What a cool place. Beautiful, beautiful place too. Love this, this little wraparound porch. And let's see if there's a if we can capture anything in those windows up there. Now there obviously is going to be shadowing from the light. There's a little lamp on the table. I don't know if you could see that. Let's, uh, let's continue on our way. And once again, what a beautiful park. Beautiful house. This reminds me of the houses that like I would have uh, lived in as a kid on Long Island. A lot of houses that look like this. Oh, I thought that was a shadow. That's just a bedpost. Let's see if we could peek in the window here. Let's see. Of course I dropped my flashlight. Oh wow, that's cool in there, look at that. 
If a face jumps out at me, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> Let's see. What is on the table there? A book? An old lamp? Oh, neat place. Cool place. All right, so the next place that I'm walking up to, guys, this place is the one that I think is the creepiest that I thought I heard a voice by. What the hell was that? Just heard a big thump back there. That was very strange. Once again, I'm going to have to shine this light in. Let me shut this off. Stop that reflection. Pretty cool in there, look. The old tools and everything. Alright, wow, the white light came on first. I'm shocked. Uh, let's see what we got over here. So I was right back here and I heard a whisper. Let's see if we capture anything again. Alright, so there, there are voices obviously coming from the park, but I heard a whisper, and I, too bad I didn't have my camera before when I heard that. But there's this building too. Of course everything's locked up. This looks just like a storage type place. Oh, wow. Get a second look in these windows up upstairs. That's where, again, people say they've seen faces, they've seen shadows. I mean, that would be awesome if we did. But let's uh, go ahead with the name I think was William on this. William H. Waterhouse. I wonder if, well that's William H. Waterhouse. This is his wife, Charles Waterhouse. Okay, so we have some names. Let's see if we pick that up on the Necrophonic app. And let's go around the back here. I think there was another porch. I'll set up my camera. And again, let's look in those windows. You can see the windows look like they're melted. They're so old. Guys, so setting up this camera was kind of difficult. I got it kind of balancing on the uh, the rail, the railing. All right, maybe that was just a trick of my eyes, but it looked like something passed that window. I can't wait to play this back. Maybe it's just the camera. All right, all right. So let's uh, let's do the necrophonic app now. If there's any do this, uh, any spirits want to communicate, please do so and give us some names. <laughs> What names of the people who lived here? So far I haven't heard really anything that I could decipher but until I play this back. What's the name of the person who owned this place?
first and last name. Can you say my name? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna say goodnight. Is there anything you want to say before I exit? No, no. Alright, I'm gonna end this. As, as I told you, I was gonna come by where the school is, and I did, and uh, gotta tell you, can't do it tonight several reasons. One is these people in the house here came out and were staring at me. Um, it's down this road and uh, you know all they have to do is make one phone call and uh, I could get in trouble here so I'm not gonna take that risk. There were times times that I would take that risk in the past and it's not worth it to me anymore. Um, like I said these people came out of their house were just standing there sure they're wondering why there's a man with a camera out here. The other thing is too is that um, I gotta go by my gut intuition. My gut intuition you know tells me that like this is bad 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 juju. Something's something's not right and I'm gonna take my gut instinct and run with that. Probably go do something else to add to the video I already started and uh, thanks for understanding. I'll come back again when the time's right and tonight that time is not right. Alright guys, so I decided that I'm going to try the Necrophonic app while I'm waiting by the school. Now my gut's telling me this is a bad idea. There's a house there, there's people, there's all, just everything against doing this is just, I don't know. I just feel like if I go back there I may not come out okay, I don't know. It's even creepy standing here, but I'm going to try the Necrophonic app while I'm here and I'm going to see if the Necrophonic app will give us any information or me. Maybe, who knows? Is my gut intuition right? So, spirits, if I go back there tonight, what would have happened? Died. Died. Died, Joe. Holy crap, that's the first thing it said. I know, I just got a bad, even standing here, I got a bad feeling. What would be the risk of being back here? You said died. Why would I have died? Is there somebody back there? Yes. That's telling me a bad idea. This seems to be confirming it. I don't know, maybe tell me what you think. Is there somebody back there that would have tried? Is somebody watching me right now from that house? Are those people watching me? What should I do? What should I do? I don't know. Guys, I think it said, like the very first thing it said was die Joe or die Joe. No thanks. I, like I said, I had a bad feeling about this. I still have a bad feeling about this. And uh, yeah, those people are watching me, so I'm gonna get out while the getting's good. I'm gonna go somewhere else. 
All right, so tonight's been kind of crazy. This camera's all fogged up. It's like completely uh, humid out, I guess. I don't know. It's just one of those nights. So I found this abandoned dealership, and it's creepy as hell. Don't think I can get inside. There's all kinds of signs up saying that it's like video monitored, and I'm not even going to try the door, but I do want to show you. It does look creepy. And let me wipe the lens once again because it's so humid. Another thing is there's uh, there's still cars here. Like, look at this. I'll show you. I thought that was kind of interesting. Abandoned cars. It's a Hummer. And uh, again, fogged up camera. Can't win for losing tonight, guys. Seriously, it's crazy. But man, this place is eerie as heck. All kinds of stuff left behind, though, look. There's engines, transmissions. It even looks like this is uh, needing to be wiped off again. Look at that. All that stuff that's in here. Isn't that cool? I don't even know if, you know, honestly, I don't even know if this camera's doing it justice tonight because of the humidity. Abandoned office over there. Just abandoned places. Anyway, this is kind of a fun video. It's a, it's a night again where it's foggy. It's kind of nasty out. It's humid and the camera keeps fogging up. But with that being said, <laughs> it looks like I have a halo. Look at that. See, I'm an angel. Let me, uh, once again, wipe off the lens, guys. Uh, thanks for joining tonight. Um, again, I'm trying to bring you guys as much content in places that interest me. This interests me. Creepy places. Hopefully, we pick up some paranormal stuff. Uh, in the meantime, let's go in love and peace. And I better get out of here while, uh, while the getting's good. Good night. Ooh. All right, guys. So I am back at the cemetery that I did the other night. Like Tonight's been kind of a weird night. Started off at one place. Was going to go do the um, abandoned burn down school. It's foggy. The camera keeps fogging up tonight. It's just kind of a weird night. This is... I wanted to come back here for two reasons. One is that... I picked up what I thought was like the sound of like a woman like going like oh <laughs> I mean and I'm in the exact same spot like I'll show you and it's kind of cool too because somebody decorated like this grave for Christmas like the most elaborate thing I've ever seen at a, at a cemetery and uh, man let me wipe the lens again it's like uh, okay <laughs> anyway so um yeah, it's now like 1 in the morning, a little after 1 in the morning, so uh, I want to kind of finish this up quick. Let me show you this really elaborate uh, grave and also um, hopefully... thought I heard a footstep that scared the hell out of me. Maybe it's just something falling off the tree. Alright, let's go check this out. And as I mentioned, um, again... Dang, this uh, this thing's fogging up, but let me take you over here. Look at this grave. I'm going to shut this light off because it really doesn't do it justice. But look at this. Hold on. This is something else, guys. Look at this. light on now what an elaborate look at that beautiful tree well wow, 20 year old that's so dang sad but this is the spot that uh, I'll show you guys where I heard a woman there's signs all along this of the water here that says careful of the alligators I don't see any alligator eyes 
I sure as heck heard something walking in, around. Huh. Or so. A, bu a, blood uh, a bloody, a blurry image. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video tonight. It was certainly was fun to make, and uh, keep hearing something. It sounds like it's walking. I don't know. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if uh, if we picked up that singing again. You know, that would be awesome. Can you uh, make yourself known? Very, very quiet tonight. Let me try one thing. Let me grab my phone. It's actually a little later than I thought. <laughs> it's almost two. Those are my boys. All right, so let's try the Necrophonic app again and see if we can pick up anything and it's been fun tonight like going to different places um, but if there's any spirits here and again I want to preface this with I know it's just a sound bank I think sometimes this can pick up like spirits may be able to manipulate it I don't know but that's kind of my theory okay would you talk to me was there a lady here singing do you want to say anything can you talk through this device Emma? Do you see me? What is your name? Flush his blood. That's what it. That yeah. That's what I think I heard. Were you singing the other night? Help me. Hmm. So, can you say something, uh, something of relevance? Can you say my name? Can you say, um, can you say my first and last name? Would you know who I am? Breath. I don't know. Can you say goodnight? Because I'm going to sign off and head home. I don't know what it's saying, guys, if anything, but um, good night. Time to head home. It's almost 2 in the morning. It's uh, bedtime. Uh, tonight seems pretty quiet here. So last time I was here, I thought I heard in, in the video some people pointed out it sounded like a woman singing tonight. I really haven't heard anything. Maybe some animals walking around. Who knows? I just heard something. Hello? Hello? I thought I, I could be crazy.
which is incredibly scary, but at, you know, at the same time, it's pretty intriguing. Hello? Can you talk again? Was there somebody talking? I don't know. It sounded like I heard Joe, Joe, Joe. Let me go look. That's really, really cool. Can you talk again, please? He's coming right from here, the same place as last time. Hello? Really freaky. Look at that car in the grave, old Camaro. Wow. I mean, it could be just because I'm here and then thinking I'm hearing stuff, you know? Listen, guys. Can you say my name? Are you saying my name? And I hope the camera's picking this up because I keep hearing someone go like, Joe, Joe, Joe. Hello? Freaking creeped out, I gotta tell you. Am I losing my mind? I very well could be. Alright guys, on that note, I'm gonna head out. Um, did I hear my name? I think I did. It sounded like something was going, Joe, Joe, Joe. There it was again. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Did I hear my name? I think I did. I just. I mean, it could be an animal, like, you know, just like making a noise every so often. He sounds like a repetitive Joe. And whistles. So I don't want to leave now. You hear it? Behind me, there's freaking alligators, I'm sure, in the little water area back there, the little pond or lake, whatever it is. Did you hear that? These whistles. This is crazy, like, and you know, again, for as far as making videos, I love doing this. I love having this light behind me too, so. Something or somebody creeps up on me, I'll see it coming. 
Uh, standing here at 2 o'clock in the morning is not so much... Hello? Hello? Remember when I was a kid, you know? And they said, uh, like, um, that we were at, like, uh, Man, talk about the turn of the screw. It just keeps getting tighter and tighter and more tense. When I was a kid, and um, I forget, like, we were somewhere and people were telling, like, scary stories. And, and I remember this lady saying, like, oh, yeah, if you hear your name called in the wind, it's the devil calling you. And I keep hearing my name, and I kind of, like, sparks that memory, freaks me out. See any anything? It's weird now. The camera's not fogging up every few seconds either. It's so strange. But it's weird. I feel like I'm kind of getting like hypnotized here or something. I gotta get this break. This like weird spell. Keeps whistling. It sounds like something's whistling. And I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I feel like I'm getting hypnotized by this. I gotta go. Love and peace.